Hello there, and this is Alcon Recon. Today, we want to talk about Manchester City. Now, you've got to understand that everybody has a favorite team. I certainly have a favorite team in Manchester City, simply because of the fact the style of play is constant, it's very positive, they're very disciplined players, and most of all, they get good results. But at this time of year, where the season's finished, it has been a broken season, although Manchester City still came through it. Now there are talks about changes and this, that, and the other. That's understandable, particularly when you've got people like uh, Aguero, for instance, not sure whether he wants to go, or is he going, or is he staying, or whatever else. You're talking about one of the world's best strikers, and you have to make a decision as to whether he goes or he doesn't go or he goes to another club which in my opinion is worse however I can understand Sep Guardiola he's got to look he's got to have a better range of players I will always remember the times when Cancelo and, and Rodrigue and Laporte they and these guys came in they were good players but they didn't mesh well with Manchester City because of this, Manchester City was a little bit in the, in the dump in the middle of the season, looking for midfielders, although Bernardo Silva was there and Gundawan was there, and of course, um, uh, De Bruyne. And they were backed by Fernandinho. That was a good midfield. But at the same time, he kept them on. He improved the quality of some of them. Cancelo started to move to right wing back to replace Kyle Walker at different times. And we had Laporta coming into the central defense for, J for J Stones. But in this point in time, he too struggled a little bit to organize himself in the case of a good defensive work. Young Zinchenko was out on the left side, Walker on the right side, and the kingpin in that team was Ruben Diaz. You look in front of him, you saw the players I just mentioned. Bernardo Silva, Gandawan. These players are good players and they're ball winners and they are well organizers. They didn't weaken the Manchester City midfield. You look ahead, what do you see? The speed king in Raheem Sterling. On the other side is Mahrez, who's very deceptive from the right side with his left foot. In front, you've got Torres. You've also got Gabriel Jesus. Now, I will admit that in that area of the game, they have not had, since the, since the time of Aguero, Aguero, having a player with that sort of quality. So it didn't bring Jesus into so much of the limelight, although he did have some good games, and I still think that he has the potential to be a better player in the future, because I saw him play against this country. He was not as impressive as we would like to have seen him. But you can see there is an element of progress that is coming by. Let us take a look at this team and see how many of these players are key players. I would say Walker is one. Ruben Diaz is another. Zinchenko is definitely one. Bernardo Silva is one. Gundawan is one. De Bruyne is one. You have Raheem Sterling. Uh, uh, Raheem Sterling. You have Mahrez, and you have one of Jesus and, and Torres in front. Now, the front line is not exactly what the Manchester City wants. They want to have some aggression. They want to have some, some guys taking the initiative. They have chances. And all of a sudden, the world starts to say, oh, go for, go for Kane and, and uh, go for whoever else they're talking about. And it has left Guardiola in a bit of a fix. Those players with whom he spe they are speaking about, they're good players. Are they good players for Manchester City? You tell me how many teams in the Premier League of the, the, of the English Football Association who would have a team as well organized as Sep Guardiola. You look at the other players that come in and out in different ways. Anytime you see that, you see a little bit of unevenness in the game. But when Fernando is in, Fernandinho is on the field, the midfielder is in front of him, and sometimes when Stone comes in, 
he's not a regular top class player he's not a great distributor of the ball and on some occasions he has to take the initiative because Ruben Diaz had moved out to leave him in there to start saving the ball therein lies a problem and it did cause a couple of goals so he's gonna have to look for a central defender Ake is one of them and I saw him play once or twice or three times and I thought that he would become a wonderful player if given the chance so he's one but I'm sure that uh, Guardiola would want to look for a central defender as well he's got one in Diaz that's for sure so let's think a little bit he's got Foden you're not going to take Foden from being the, the firepower left striker and put him into the midfield he's not a midfield player he's not one that looks his head up and moves it around he's not one to go fighting like Gando and, and, and Bernardo Silva for the ball and he's not a distributor like De Bruyne, moving and choosing that ball and finding pen passing lanes. Those are the guys that you want. So therefore, I ask the question, what are you looking for in that area? Okay, could be Kane. He's a bit of, of a goal scorer. He likes playing in and around the box. He takes the half a chances. The, the other players that are around fighting for the Haaland, I'm not quite sure. I've not seen him in, with his team. I've seen Kane with his team. And definitely he can fit in somewhere in that team. As a matter of fact, he might be able to lift it because the passing lanes that he uses and receives the passes could bring a lot of goals for Manchester City. But he's got to take a look at the bench. He's got to find out. Mendes is not, not any the player as we knew before. And he was injury prone. So you're going to have to look in that area. I would think that you've got to look at a central defense, regardless of where it's going to come from. There are also places that you could find in the front. You must remember, if you're going to replace Aguelo, you better have somebody that is extremely good. I like Saka of Arsenal. I liked him as a youngster. And if he goes under the high brain of Guardiola, he's going to be a top-class player. He's already starting to show itself when he played for his own country. But Manchester City has the difficulty of looking for players. Some players are searching to get to Manchester City. But it's not an easy job because Sepp Guardiola has a frame of mind that produces the type of game that Manchester City wins all the time. So it's going to be interesting to see what level they take to bring the teams in into the Manchester City team strengthen the, the strikers okay definitely looking for a central defender there's no question about it they may even be looking for a right wing back as one because men that did not really and truly do the job that they wanted him to do he was he was not inside of that capacity now on the other hand Kinchenko He's a very talented player. He loves going up the, line, the left side for overlap passes and so on. But he doesn't rem remember this, that he's got to come back. And on some occasions, they conceded goals from on that side. But Guardiola got a hold of him. You go forward, play. Don't go forward until the ball is played in there and you're free. And he started to get better and better and better. The same thing he did with Phil Foden. Foden is a wonderful footballer. But he was trying to go in difficult angles and all of a sudden he started to appear as though he was vulnerable and he was getting through and, and getting goals and good goals as well. So let's take a look at this. My thing is hold the players that you already have and you can already work with. That's the key to it. The next thing is test the players who are coming in and have some practice sessions. Have some practice session among yourselves to see if these guys can fit into midfield and keep that ball moving on and keeping the opposition swinging from side to side and developing passing lanes into the speed of, of Sterling and Mahrez on the other side. Those are the things that he is looking for now to utilize not a player but a player who can conform with the requirement of Manchester City. I certainly hope that he gets the job done. He's got two good goalkeepers, he's got two wingbacks, he's got a particular wingback. I'll go anywhere for him, um, Hyde Walker.